Health officials now say they think as early as fall, the elderly could get a COVID-19 vaccine booster shot. And they've been looking very quickly into whether these extra shots for the vaccinated may be needed as early as this fall. This could be for everybody, but they're going to start with the elderly because you don't want to see what happened in nursing homes happen again, obviously. Oh, no. Right, and they've already approved it for people who are immunocompromised. So then the next group would be the seasoned folks. And then they'll probably start expanding it out from there. Uh, this is the story of today, probably of the week. Afghanistan is a complete and utter mess. The government has completely collapsed. The Taliban effectively controls the entire country. You do have scenes, somebody will get mad at me for making this comparison, I don't care. You see scenes that are reminiscent of what you saw in Vietnam, where you had people hanging on to the helicopters as they were leaving, you know, to fly people out of there. And now you have people jogging beside these massive uh, transport planes, I hoping, I guess, to have an opportunity to somehow jump onto that plane and get out of the country. People are very mad at the Biden administration for pulling everybody out this way, not anticipating what would happen. And there's blame to go around everywhere for the last almost 20 years. Sometimes you have a situation that's terrible and you go, you know, it's nobody's fault. It's just, it's a bunch of stuff that happens. This is the opposite. It's everybody's fault. It's Biden's fault. It's Trump's fault. It's Obama's fault. It's the Afghanistan's fault. Oh, my God. If the Afghanis had just pulled it together, this wouldn't have happened. Well, I know, but see, uh, you know, the, the thing that people just don't want to accept about Afghanistan is Afghanistan is like a triple Rubik's Cube. Yeah. You can't understand it, it and you sense. cannot solve it. And even a Rubik, you bring in a Rubik's Cube master. So the analogy would be, you bring in the brightest minds who know everything about uh, counterinsurgencies, who know everything about government building, who know everything about the sweet spot between being in a supportive role for a government and actually, you know occupying the country and running the government you bring in the best minds if it was just a regular rubik's cube they'd be like oh beep, 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 done this is like a triple size rubik's cube so they're like what we don't know how this even works and you know i think that i get i oh it angered me this morning i should not watch cable news before i go on the air that should be the moral of this next story but i decided i'm gonna watch well, Fox and CNN and see how this goes down. Well, all that did was make me crazy because you had former members of the Trump administration saying, hey, look, he put in this deal with the Taliban and for a year they didn't attack us before this drawdown happened. Mm -hmm. If he had been the one negotiating this, this never would have happened. Then... It made it sound like all the intelligence that was given to the Biden administration, that they flipped the bird on it and just said, nah, we don't need any of that. We're going to do it our way. And in fact, the Taliban has been so nice all along. We know they're not going to do anything. We're going to trust them not to do anything. Well, even CNN could not defend that part of it. They called it botched, which blew me away that one of their anchors actually called this botched. But then it PO'd me that they said, hey, the Afghani military, it was on them to step up and handle this. If they, if they are not capable of handling this, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying we should have been in there forever, but the whole thing, instead of all this finger pointing this morning, I wish the story had been about the scramble to get the U.S. people out, the citizens out of Afghanistan. And why are we scrambling now? Could we not foresee, could all those great minds that you just talked about not foresee that this was going to happen? Shouldn't we have evacuated them before all of this went down? Yeah, we could have tried that. Here's the thing. I'm going to talk about this at 7. I've lost my mind. Sorry. There's a gap. There's, a, there's an information gap, a massive one, that led to this. And... It seems like it's unforgivable. 
But nonetheless, there's a specific piece of information that apparently was not on the table when they decided to do what they did uh, in the last, what, couple of months over there. So we'll get into what that was. And because, because then this all really makes sense. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not like, yeah, the Taliban is in charge. and No, but it makes sense. There's nothing, it's not really mysterious. No. Once, I mean, you, once you know the piece of information that apparently nobody either knew or was paying heed to. So we'll get into that. And you know what? Can we get a news update, Jennifer Jones? I, I think. would love that. That's us come down. And then we'll continue. Handle on the news. It's KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. COVID-19 hospitalizations in L.A. County continue to climb. As of yesterday, there were 1,650 patients in a hospital with the virus, compared to 1,437 a week ago. County health officials say fully vaccinated people who get COVID-19 and end up in a hospital typically have chronic illnesses and weakened immune systems. The county health officer says to check with your doctor to see if you qualify for a third booster shot. The CDC has approved Moderna and Pfizer as a booster, and if you qualify, they say try to get the exact same brand as your first couple shots. Steve Gregory, King of Fine News. As we've been talking about, thousands of people have packed into the airport in Kabul, rushing onto the tarmac and pushing onto planes as they try and get out of Afghanistan. Despite the Taliban takeover, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan has defended the Biden administration's decision to end the longest war in U.S. history. We have now successfully drawn down the U.S. Embassy in Kabul. We have moved all of those personnel either to the airport or out of the country. Sullivan says Afghan security forces decided not to step up and fight for their country. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says there are things people can do to avoid getting carbon monoxide poisoning if the power goes out because of a wildfire. Spokeswoman for the commission, Nicolette Nye, says CO alarms should be installed in homes. So we recommend installing battery-operated CO alarms or CO alarms with battery backup outside bedrooms and sleeping areas and on each floor of your home. And you should also have smoke alarms on every level of your home. She says portable generators and charcoal grills shouldn't be used indoors. The CDC estimates about 400 people die every year from carbon monoxide poisoning. The Mono County Sheriff's Office has made an arrest in a nearly two decades old case. Investigators say advances in DNA technology allowed them to ID the remains of a woman found in a shallow grave near Mammoth Lake in 2003. She was from Puebla, Mexico. Detectives arrested a man from Mammoth Lakes on Friday. A restaurant in downtown LA is suing Marriott Hotels. Joey's says some guests and employees at the Sheraton Grant LA are throwing burning cigarettes from their balconies and they're falling onto the restaurant's patio while people are eating. The co-founder and CEO of fact-checking site Snopes.com has admitted plagiarizing articles from the mainstream news outlets over the years. David Mickelson says it was a serious lapse in judgment. And a coyote has attacked a child in Massachusetts. The National Park Service in a statement says the three-year-old girl was bitten around the face, neck, and shoulder on a Cape Cod beach last week. Officials say the child was taken to the hospital and is going to be okay. Rangers have been responding to situations where coyotes are acting aggressively around people to get food. Authorities are urging people not to leave food out and to properly dispose of trash. Claudette Stefani in KFI News. Let's take a look at your drive on the 10. All right, there's a, a, a couple of problems I have to warn you about now. I'm going to talk about the West 10 in between the 605 and Rosemead. There's two separate problems. The first one you hit is Route San Anita. It's the beginning of the collector lane that leads you to San Anita, a little bit of the right lane. And then a little farther to the west, just past Rosby, kind of a long plane problem. They finally just yanked a car off the right and back veneer. That's hooked up, but the two right have been blocked for a long time. The bottom line, it is really jammed now from the 605 through Rosby. Step looking at Valley Boulevard, got a little busy going through San Anita, but really not bad. And you get on or back on the west side of San Gabriel, that puts you past the problem and on your way. A bad problem, bad sounding problem anyway, that we're headed back to now, Pacoima. This is the North Pie, the Golden State Freeway around Osborne, Tarabella. Lanes blocked there, a bunch of lanes blocked there, jammed from the 175 merge and getting slower as they speak. Laurel Canyon, uh, San Fernando Road, any of those will help you out. Other than that, most of the basin is in fairly decent shape. Another really slow spot in getting slower is the North 57 to the West 210. That's a meter ramp 
kind of normal, but I'll follow up on that for you. Don't go away. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. Gavin Newsom's report card. Education, 41st in the nation. Gasoline, highest in the nation. Sales tax, highest in the nation. Income tax, highest in the nation. Homeless, highest in the nation. Oh, and one of the first states in the nation to end cash bail. With his appalling record, Gavin Newsom couldn't get a busboy job at the French Laundry restaurant. It's time for a change, because returning Gavin Newsom to office again and again and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. In this most critical election, your vote for Larry Elder will help make that monumental change, bring California back to its deserved glory, and take its rightful place at the head of the class. ElectElder.com Ad paid for by Elder for Governor 2021. SoCal weather from KFI. We've got a sunny day ahead. Still hot, though. Temperatures will be in the low 70s to mid-70s at the beaches. We'll be in the mid-80s to right at 90 for Metro LA and OC. The valleys will be in the 90 and we'll see the low 100s in the Inland Empire. We lead local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. If you own a business and manage to keep five or more people on payroll, a new government program will pay you up to $33,000 per employee. $33,000. This isn't a loan, it's a grant, it's free money. The challenge? Getting your hands on it. Hi, I'm Howard Mackler. That's exactly why I founded InnovationRefunds.com to cut through the red tape and get you the money. At InnovationRefunds.com, our tax attorneys and CPAs are experts at helping businesses like yours to get their share of these government funds. InnovationRefunds.com does all the legwork and doesn't charge you a penny until you receive the money. Our team has helped over 6,000 businesses to get some $450 million, and InnovationRefunds.com can get your business up to $33,000 per employee. Just go to InnovationRefunds.com, click on Qualify Me, answer a few questions. No risk, high reward. InnovationRefunds.com there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum Mobile. You could save hundreds of dollars on your mobile bill. Plus, there are no added taxes, hidden fees, and no contracts. Try the Spectrum Mobile savings calculator today, and in three easy steps, you'll see how much you could save by switching. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save. Spectrum Internet required. Savings may vary. Restrictions apply. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save for details. If you're self-employed and have been denied by traditional lenders, Equinox Home Financing can help. You shouldn't be penalized for being an entrepreneur. Instead of using tax returns, they use personal or business bank statements for income. Go to EquinoxHomeFinancing.com. This is by the California Department of Real Estate and the California Department of Financial Oversight, NMLS number 121285. Did you know the Auto Club offers competitive rates on auto insurance? Go to AAA.com slash insurance for a free quote today and find out how much you can save. Insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today. Termite problems? Search PacificCoastTermite.com or call 800-PACIFIC. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. search for survivors continues because the death toll is already 1,300. And I know you couldn't escape the pictures if you turned on the TV over the weekend. The devastation, and, and I talked to Lionel Moise earlier, and uh, not only is his family there, but he was there covering the big earthquake in 2010. And he was talking about the people who barely, barely had put their lives back together, whose homes were destroyed, whatever the case happened to be. Those people are just, we're just getting back on their feet, and a lot of them have their homes destroyed. And don't forget, you've got Tropical Storm Grace rolling in, headed straight for the area where these people are sometimes sleeping in, say, soccer arenas or football arenas, anywhere that they can just find land 
that hadn't been devastated by the earthquake, and now this is what they're going to have to deal with, is the weather. Yeah. There's a confluence of factors that makes Haiti particularly uh, vulnerable to earthquakes. Um, I'll, maybe 7.30, I'll get into that. And the Dixie Fire in Northern California has been burning for over a month now. Jen, you probably remember last week we were talking about how it was heading towards half a million acres. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's heading towards 550,000 acres. About 750 uh, homes and businesses have been destroyed and the authorities say there's almost 15,000 structures that are considered threatened at this time. And people are still getting fresh rounds of evacuation orders. Yeah, I think one of the things that makes this different... Um, it's funny, I don't think it's getting the coverage, obviously, that the Paradise, it, the Paradise Campfire got because we haven't seen the loss of life. There are people missing, and we still don't know if those people could be dead. But um, the scope of this fire is so much larger where paradise was super concentrated it was one area wiped out of town killed dozens of people and but they were kind of able to keep this this fire is spreading into all these dinky little towns and i think that's the thing that we keep hearing why are more and more evacuations it's because of the scope of this fire just great yeah. Guy was stabbed during the COVID-19 vaccine protest outside L.A. City Hall. He has been released from the hospital, I saw yesterday. But um, people, it was a Choose Freedom March that was planned for 2 o'clock on Saturday. Organizers said this was a protest against medical tyranny, mandatory vac vaccinations, and vaccine passports. Now, an opposing group was there called No Safe Space for Fascists, and a fight broke out. And somebody got stabbed, and this said his condition isn't known, but I saw a story that was updated that says he's out of the hospital and will be okay. Well, that part's good. A couple of reporters got attacked, and you have now people are like, you're fascist. No, you're fascist. Okay, we're on opposite sides of the thing. How can we both be fascist? Yeah. Although, I guess, maybe you can both be fascist. You just have, you're just on different fascist different sides. Fascist ways. You know, where, where's like the common sense middle ground? We don't have that. We got the fascists over here who are saying you will get a vaccine. Or, see, here's the thing, though. Okay. <clears throat> Does this really sound like fascism to you? And be honest. First, think of what you think of when you think of fascism. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. You will get a vaccine. You will carry proof of that vaccine. Or else, you will not be coming into my restaurant and eating my avocado toast. <laughs> does that actually sound like fascism? Or does that sound like a private business not, making yes. rules about who they want to serve? And you say, whoa, what if they don't want to serve black people? Okay, stop it. That's because those are protected classes of people and that's illegal. You know, people got to understand. Mostly discrimination in this country is totally A-OK. -okay. Right? There are certain protected classes where it's illegal. Except for that, game on, man. I don't like your sweatshirt. You can't come in my restaurant. I don't like your hair color. You can't come in. I don't like your lipstick. You're not coming in. Wow. You're taking it All far. legal. A hundred percent legal. So, is that really fascism? No. And let's see. I'm going to be fair to the other side. So then the other side is saying, um, is this fascism? I don't want to be forced to get a vaccination. No. That sure doesn't sound like fascism to me either. So none of it's fascism. And that's the reductive phrase that was being hurled around. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it except, oh boy, here we go. Right? It's the summer, it's uh, it's last summer all over again, except the topic is different. And the, and the players are different, but it's the same dynamic. We need these protest groups to employ uh, grammar police. 
so that their <laughs> definitions of what they're fighting for we can would, be accurate. And semanticists yeah. should be on hand. So when they go, fascism, that somebody steps in and go, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I cannot allow that chance because it's way too off base. Why don't you find another way of saying what you're trying to say? All right, let's let's call a referee. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Let's get a news update from Jennifer Jones Lee. We'll have a finish up handle on the news. It's KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. As we just mentioned, there is new panic in Haiti. A tropical storm Grace moves in today along with heavy rain. It could cause mudslides and flooding at a time when families are forced to sleep outside. Kids are going back to class this morning in L.A. and they're going back in the middle of another COVID-19 surge. There are new safety protocols in place like they'll all need to wear masks and be tested weekly, vaccinated or not. And the former CDC director doesn't think shutdowns will happen despite the new surge of COVID-19. But Dr. Richard Besser expects some schools might close if cases become too high. We'll take a look at your drive with VKFI in the sky and the five next. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. If you've decided to sell your house, I know it is tempting to just get it listed as is or even take one of those cash out deals. But why sell yourself short when making just the right upgrades will maximize its sale value? You mean like flipping our own home, Dean? We don't have the expertise or the cash for that. I know, but my friends at Revive do. Revive knows exactly what to change, what to spend, and where to spend it. They'll manage everything for you and front all the costs. Yes, Revive fronts the cost. They get paid back from escrow, but the profit gained is all yours. How much profit? The average client makes over 200% profit on what Revive invests on their behalf. It's a no-brainer. Reach out to iloverevive.com today and see if your home qualifies. To make the most from the sale of your home, go to iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. At MGM Resorts, we know this is no time to return to normal. It's time to... It's time to, it's time to, it's time for the time of your life in Vegas at MGM Resort. SoCal weather from KFI, sunny with highs, low 70s at the beaches to the low 100s inland. This report is brought to you by MGM Resort. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We're checking out the five. All uh, right, busy, busy morning here. I hope you got a little extra time in the bank here. But this is for climbing now, North 5 and Osborne. That's just north of the 175 merge and the one that came right in the middle. Uh, but we got three right lanes blocked. This is a terrible crash. There's a lot of CHP officers there trying to help out. But again, three right are blocked. That leaves you with the carpool two left open. And the backup on the five now, well, it's going through that north five, north 170 merge. It's going back towards Lancashire very quickly. So if you head up in that area, Laurel Canyon, any of those streets, San Fernando Road, Alita, anything you like uh, will get you north of that and on your way. Get on anywhere north of Osborne and you'll be okay. Now, southbound's always busy coming down there. I'm sure you know that every morning, but particularly slow because everybody's looking at all the activity. All lanes are open on the southbound side. Now, the West 10, the San Bernardino Freeway from the 605 through Roseby, still extra slow. We had two separate crashes, one on San Anita Road and one on Roseby, still causing delays. Uh, west of Roseby, things are pretty good. Leaving San Fernando Valley, we're about to check this one for you. It was probably on the downhill side around Getty. It's backed up from just south of Sherman Way. I can vouch for that, that's for sure. And finally, if you head into LAX, a popular destination on a Monday morning, that's for sure. It's getting slow, that's for sure, through the 710, but so far, trouble free. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Baugh, KFI in the Sky. This report is sponsored by Mercury Insurance. Californians, just like you, are saving a lot of money by bundling their home and auto insurance with Mercury. A fast, free quote is only a click away. So what are you waiting for? Go to mercuryinsurance.com to get a quote and start saving today. I am one of thousands of women with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking Ibrant, calcocyclic. Ibrant's 125 milligram tablet with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive HER2 negative MBC as the first hormonal-based therapy. Be in your moment. 
Ask your doctor about iBrands and visit iBrands.com. iBrands may cause low white blood cell count that may lead to serious infections. iBrands may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking iBrands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet count, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Hey, it's Gary Hoffman. Let's talk about your Medicare coverage. Scan Health Plan is for people with Medicare. Now more than ever, it's important to have comprehensive coverage when you need it most. If you're new to Medicare, have both Medicare and Medi-Cal, or have been diagnosed with certain chronic conditions, you may qualify to enroll in Scan now. Call Scan at 1-855-370-7226, TTY711, or ask your agent about Scan. Scan Health Plan is an HMO plan with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in Scan Health Plan depends on contract renewal. Bill and Kathleen from American Vision Bass. We've been installing new windows for over 20 years. Our customers have had such great experiences, we've received lots of requests for other services, especially bathroom remodels. So we decided to revolutionize the home improvement industry in a whole new way with American Vision Bass, while continuing to improve the lives of our employees. My name is Dominic Bastinell. I'm the head of our bath division. The most rewarding part for me being at American Vision has been watching the bath department grow. It's just an incredible opportunity. I'm very grateful for it. It's just so simple. Happy employees, happy customers. For a limited time, get 20% off a shower conversion or no payments or interest for 18 months. Visit AmericanVisionBath.com or call 888-675-2885. 888-675-2885. 888-675-2885. Some restrictions apply. Cannot be combined with any other offers. Call or see website for details. Offer expires 831-2021. CSLB number 778326. They say the Delta variant is spreading fast. In Australia, they're even using the military to enforce new lockdowns. Will it happen here? All this week, Stinchfield answers that and more about the big, bad lockdown. Tune in to Stinchfield on Newsmax. Find out about new calls for lockdowns, masks, and even forced vaccination. Who thought it couldn't happen here? Now, Stinchfield is on tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific time, exposing how it could affect you and your family. He reveals the real truth that you need to know. Over 30 million Americans watch Newsmax. It's on all major cable systems like Frontier 115, UVerse 1220, Spectrum Channels 222, Xfinity 1115, Cox 85 and 1085, Direct TV 349, Dish 216, AT&T TV 349, Fubo, check your channel guide. If your operator doesn't carry it, call them and tell them you want Newsmax. Plus, stream it for free on Samsung, Roku, LG, Pluto, Zumo, and more. Don't forget to download the free Newsmax app on your phone and watch it anytime. Watch Stinchfield on Newsmax. Real news for real people. You know, I wondered what they were going to do about the learning loss. And it's like, well, here's the answer. We're just going to put them right and through. And then we're going to be told we have to supply an annual basic income for all these people. Because the stupid governors close the schools. John and Ken. Ay, ay, ay. Weekdays at 2 on KFI. Recovering from surgery. Morning crew is here. Let's finish up handle on the news. Oh boy. There's another woman accusing a uh, Dodger Trevor Bauer of uh, misconduct is the, the nicest way that you could possibly put it. This person's accusations uh, are very similar to those made by a local woman who first came to our attention when she got a restraining order against Trevor Bauer. He is still on that leave and still being investigated locally. Now it's a woman from Ohio who also sought a protective order against Bauer and who says essentially the same thing that the woman here says, which is that they uh, got together and then they were having sex and he got way, way, way too rough and that she had photos of her injuries, and that uh, nobody really wanted to do anything about it. Here's what's interesting here. They, meaning Trevor Bauer's uh, agents and attorneys, 
are going after this woman from Ohio hard. Their side of the story is it is all bogus that she, in fact, tried to extort him for millions of dollars by threatening to make false accusations. So, we have a situation here where if she's telling the truth, Trevor Bauer might be uh, a serial sexual abuser. If they're telling the truth, she is a criminal. She's an extortionist and an awful human being. Obviously, I don't see how there can be a middle ground here where, well, you're both kind of right. I don't, I don't know. I mean, these two stories are irreconcilable. So it'll be interesting to see, number one, how much farther do their accusations against her go? Do they sue her? Will we hear an announcement that she is being criminally investigated for extortion? And then the other question I have is, how long until there's a third woman making these kinds of accusations against him? Is it smart for Trevor Bauer's defense team to go after this woman hard? Not to say that there there isn't reason to go after her hard, if there is. But does that make him look better than in the local case? By the way, yes. Trevor Bauer is going to be in court today regarding the restraining order uh. against him. Well, and look, here's the thing with this with this uh, tactic. You better have solid evidence, objective evidence, that any person can look at and go, oh, yes, she was trying to extort him and threatening to falsely accuse him. You better have it. Because if you go this hard against her and you can't produce, then it's way worse for him. Sure. But there's no, you go, well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't be so foolhardy as to start making public their accusations against her unless they already have the kind of evidence that whoever you show it to, like you show it to the people who founded hashtag me too, and they go, oh, well, you're right. In this case, he didn't do anything, and she's the one who's wrong. You better have it, if you because otherwise people. it's unbelievably dangerous to start floating that if you can't back it up. Could you even have people, friends of hers, that she told, you know what, I'm going to use this in my favor. Maybe she and Trevor Bauer did have a thing, and maybe it was a case of rough sex. I mean, she did. wasn't she arrested for underage drinking? Yeah, after the incident, and she called the cops, he beat me up, you know, whatever. And then all that happened is she was arrested for underage drinking, although they're also saying that she was of age at the time. So, so she was over remember. 18, but under 21. She was of age, I think, to have sex, to have sex but, not to, be but not to be drinking. Yeah, so I don't know, you're right. If the evidence is other people will step forward and say, yeah, she told me she was going to, you yeah. know, rook the guy. Yeah. I just, I don't know what... The point is, I don't know what they have. Yeah. Um, but that's a bold move in these times uh, to turn it around so thoroughly. This is Nate. Ghislaine Maxwell thought that she could overturn her sex trafficking indictment. <laughs> she claimed she was justified by the recent overturning of Bill Cosby's. 2018 sexual assault conviction. Is that the guy you link yourself to? Well, you try to link to what happened to Bill Cosby. I mean, she's linking spaghetti to any wall that it will link to right Good. now. She's, she's, it's one of those things where if you don't think about it, it makes sense. What happened with Bill Cosby is the DA in the jurisdiction said he will not be charged and said it publicly on the record right and then a new da came in and said i don't care we're charging him and most legal minds will agree that you can't do that because when the first da said it publicly on the record he was speaking on behalf of the office correct 
Right. So just because there's a new person running the office, that if the office made this public statement that they would not prosecute. Here the problem is, she's pointing to the non-prosecution deal that Epstein got in Florida. But this case is in Manhattan. Hmm. It's not the same office. Two different it's offices. two completely different sovereigns, as we like to say. Therefore, it doesn't matter what they said in Florida. If this were happening in Florida, she might have a case. But it's not. It's, Florida could have said, and never, ever, never will we prosecute Glenn Maxwell for anything, be it jaywalking or international terrorism or anything in between, never, ever, further to more, she will ne police officers will never even look at her. If they see her in public, they will avert their eyes, lest they notice any wrongful behavior. They could write that. And by the way, we're giving her a laminated card that so says that she has complete immunity from any behavior anywhere here that we have control over. And then she goes to New York and she's like, look, I got this card from Florida. You can't do anything to me. Like, super stupid. And her lawyers, I feel bad for her lawyers because they got a try. But I knew, I think they knew that this was a non-starter. Of course they did. So it didn't work. Okay. That was Handle on the News. And uh, let's get a news update from Jennifer Joan Lee. And then the big piece of information that apparently nobody was dealing with, which is why Afghanistan is now the utter chaotic mess that it is. This is KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. More informing, more engaging, more stimulating. KFI. KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Afghanistan falls. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom with the Taliban back in Kabul. The Afghan capital is in turmoil as thousands of people try and get out of the country. ABC's Ian Panel says the U.S. is sending military helicopters to evacuate American citizens and embassy personnel. America and other NATO countries were certainly caught totally off guard and are now having to cope with this surge of people desperate to get out of the country from the airport. Now the only safe way to escape for those who fear for their lives. The U.S. military has taken over Afghanistan's airspace as it tries to manage evacuation efforts. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has ordered his citizens out of Afghanistan. The current situation poses serious challenges to our ability to ensure that safety and security of our mission. The White House says President Biden has spent the weekend at Camp David and has been briefed regularly on the situation in Afghanistan. It's back to school day for hundreds of thousands of students in the L.A. school district. It's been nearly 18 months since the district has had in-person learning because of the pandemic. LAUSD Interim Superintendent Megan Riley says the district will rebound from COVID. We'll continue to manage the virus smartly and safely. Students and staff have to wear masks and have weekly COVID tests whether they're vaccinated or not. A man who executed two teens over a marijuana dispute in 2006 when he was also a teen will be released from prison over a technicality. Chris Murray was 17 years old when he executed 16-year-old Christopher Treviso and 17-year-old Demetrius Flores over a marijuana deal gone bad. Murray got two life without parole sentences and 79 years to life for attempted murder. L.A. County Sheriff's Detective Steve Blagg says Murray's case was sent back to court for resentencing consideration, but because of Prop 57, the case would automatically be heard in juvenile court unless George Gascon's office filed for a transfer hearing. And then once it got to juvenile because the DA refused to request a transfer hearing, that's when the judge's hands were tied. Under juvenile sentencing laws, Murray had served his time. Chris Murray will be, if he hasn't already been released, he'll be, be getting released from prison sometime early next week after serving approximately 15 years on a life without the possibility of parole sentence for two murders. A directive from Gascon forbids all juvenile cases from being transferred to adult court, even if they're now adults. Gascon has said science backs up his claim that juveniles should be counseled in favor of a care over cages approach. Steve Gregory, KFI News. And for more on this story, including letters from the team's parents, audio, and pictures, go to KFIAM640.com. 
Nellie PD officer has been assigned to home duty and relieved of police powers following an alleged use of force in the city of San Fernando. The department says Saturday officers arrested two people for carjacking in the Nixon area. Police say they were made aware of a bystander's recording yesterday showing an officer strike one of the people in custody. Chief Moore says the images are disturbing and while they must wait for the investigation to be completed, the department will act swiftly in any instance of excessive or unnecessary force. And rescue crews are searching for survivors from the 7.2 magnitude earthquake in Haiti. Nearly 1,300 people have been killed. Mark Donald says he and his family have been using their personal van as an ambulance to help rescue efforts. The hospital has been really packed and um, we've been uh, taking people from the airport coming from port au -Prince. So you can't even tell how many people we've been helping. Officials in Haiti say at least 5,700 people have been injured in the quake. Let's look at your drive on the 405. Uh, before we do, real quick, I just want to uh, mention to you, if you missed Jennifer's story about uh, LA Unified School being back, you might want to adjust your lead time, see how the morning goes, but uh, it puts a lot more traffic on the road. Now, San Fernando Valley, Cal 405, sure enough, we found the problem that wasn't over the hill, it was on the valley side, right at Valley Vista, but all up against the right down wall, so all lanes are open. It is slow from the Sherman Way, but mind you, at least all lanes open. Once you get over the top of the hill, you'll be okay. By the way, it's going out of LAX, always busy on a Monday morning. From that point down, it's still in pretty good shape. Now, good news for Pacoima, uh, Northbound 5 and Osborne, just past the 175 merge. Uh, all lanes have been reopened, but we had to have the freeway shut down. So if you headed that way, the North 170 merging with the North 5, it's still real slow, but mind you, all lanes are open, and after Osborne, uh, things will improve. And finally, uh, well, coming through San Davis now, this west of two dens, it's just morning drive slow. It starts right at 57, last their way over to about Huntington Drive, and then finally, things improved a little bit anyway in the past Pasadena. Injured in an accident, this is Superwoman, Superlawyer.com, Jeff Paul, KFI in the sky. Still buying bottled water, really? Eliminate the cost and hassle of buying, well, it's wasteful plastic water bottles, what it does to the environment. So let me suggest the Life Source Whole House Water Filtration System, where you can have this delicious, clean, filtered water coming out of every tap in your home. And there are no filters to change once they install it, no maintenance at all, you actually forget about it. And what the Life Source Water System does, reduces the odor and taste of chlorine from your water. And not only are you hydrating your body, your skin, your hair will thank you too. You're buying directly from the factory, uh, which provides installation and customer service for the life of your system. They've been around for 36 years here in Southern California. And if you're looking to join a growing team, Life Source is hiring team members in your area. Call 800-334-5009, 800-334-5009. Visit lifesourcewater.com. Life Source Water, taste and feel the difference. Zero Res cleans carpet without crunchy residue. Only Zero Res electrolyzes water to create a powerful alkaline cleaning solution that's so pure you can drink it. Softer, healthier, fluffier carpets without residue so they stay cleaner longer. You've got to love it, we guarantee. Fast drying, no recurring stains, and now more affordable than ever. Three areas carpet or two areas tile for only $159. Go to ZeroSoCal.com. That's ZeroSoCal.com. Go to ZeroSoCal.com. That's ZeroSoCal.com. Here KFI Financial Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is down 204, s and is down 22, NASDAQ down 120, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $4.41. The KFI Money Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. Now offering virtual security consultations using your mobile phone. Visit BayAlarm.com to get protected today. So that weather from KFI, sunny with highs from the low 70s at the beaches, mid 80s for Metro LA and OC, 90 for the valleys, and it looks like we'll be right around 100 for the Inland Empire. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee.